Guys, if you're sick of having your cupboards full of appliances like these and stuff's just falling out, Litchi claims to have the appliance for you. It's four in one, supposed to take care of all the things that these things do. We're gonna check it out, unbox it, and put it to the test right after this. <laughs> Guys, if you've checked out my channel so far and you've seen my review of the other Litchi kitchen item that I did, the Franken Blender as I'll call it, which does blending and meat grinding and pasta extruding and even has a blender on it, you would know that this that was a wild success. And Litchi has been nice enough to send me another 4-in-1 product to try and I'm pretty excited about it because it's supposed to take the place of all of these appliances here. So. Um, let me unbox it for you and we'll see what's inside. If we take a look at the box, we see Litchi is telling us this is a four in one gadget here. Uh, we'll flip it over, we see there's a whisk. We see we have a 20 ounce beaker. We have the hand mixer, a 17 ounce chopper. And uh, I'm not quite sure how all that fits in this little box, so we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. So we have the instructions. Looks like uh, some sort of attachment there. The unit itself. Hand mixer attachment. Chopper. Uh, it's supposed to be the beaker and the whisk. Maybe a carrying case of some sort. And that appears to be everything. The first thing we're going to test is the obvious one, and that is going to be the hand blender. I've had this Cuisinart uh, for quite a few years, and I love using it on soups or diff and different things. Not making any soup today, so I uh, think we'll test it with this. Uh, can of diced tomatoes just to see how it all turns out. All right, looks pretty simple. This is actually pretty heavy. It looks like we have a solid motor in here. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to uh, pop it in and give it a twist, and it's all locked up. Let's see what it is for size. A little bit taller than the Cuisinart. Looks like there's either, let's see, on or off. Wow, very quiet. Yep, two speeds. So you simply press the button in. All right, feels pretty solid and it's so, so quiet. So let's uh, get this up close and we'll show you how it works. There's so much suction here that it actually picks up the whole container, watch. It made short work of these uh, diced tomatoes. Wow. This would be good for bisques and uh, just really any sauce that you like a little bit smoother. Man, you could probably make a smoothie pretty simple with this attachment. Uh, and that suction, let's just show you that one more time. That's pretty impressive. So I gotta say, that's a little more power than my Cuisinart does. So uh, we have a win here on the hand blender. The next test we're gonna do is on the chopper here and we're gonna use some red onion so that uh, hopefully you can see it a little bit better on camera how it works. And uh, let's see how much fits in here. So let's see if we can get the full onion in there. This may not be fair because I've seen full size choppers not be able to take on a full onion. But since we're putting it to the test and it was pretty successful on the the hand mixer test, I figured why not? Let's just go for it here. Oh, here we go. Just pop it in the slot and there we go. Okay. And then it looks like we just pop this on the top, give it a twist. All right? Give it a twist and then uh, here goes nothing. That's low speed chewed right through it. Let's put it on the high speed, give it a shake. 
making really short work of it. You can see there's not much, not much left here to this onion. Hopefully you can see that. Not much left there. Made super short work. It's really fine, really consistent. Uh, I was going to do crackers or cookies or pretzels or something, but wet ingredients are typically harder to uh, crush up in a chopper than, um, than dry. So uh, I'm just going to go with this, and we're going to say it really passed this test with flying colors too. So we are two for two. I don't have any heavy cream to whip with the whisk here, but I do have some Trolls Cotton Candy Jello, which of course every adult loves. And... Uh, I do notice when I'm hand uh, whipping the Jell-O mix, it is sometimes hard to dissolve. And uh, forgive me for my container choice. Typically, I would use a bowl here, but this is the only clear item I have that can accommodate the whisk. So we're going to drop this in here, and then it appears. Of course, I probably should read the directions, but everything seems to be so simple and just sort of locks together that. Uh, not really a need to do so. All right, so we'll just lock this thing on and it looks a little something like that. Let's see what the power looks like. So again, we have that two speed here. And we're just gonna start it up. That's the low speed and it's really mixing. I'm afraid if I do it on high speed, I'm going to tornado out of this bowl, but here we go. Uh, I don't feel any sugar crumbles on the bottom or anything like that, so it's totally mixed. Only thing here is um, I'm not sure that uh, all this foam that I've created uh, is a good thing for Jell-O, so we're going to have to wait for that to go away, otherwise it's going to be kind of a foamy top on it. But I think that goes to show you how much air this thing beats into um, the Jell-O, and uh, I'd have to infer that this would probably be pretty good for whipping some milk, uh, or I mean heavy cream into whipped cream, so take another look at it. Maybe we'll make up a new thing, whipped jello. Anyway, uh, this was another resounding success here, guys, because it just made such short work of it. Uh, this has a ton of power and really is impressive, and it's amazing how well made it is. One of the questions I usually get asked in the comments after I do a kitchen review is, is it dishwasher safe? So according to the directions, uh, the beaker, the whisk, the chopper bowl and the chopper blade are all dishwasher safe on the top rack. So uh, pretty much everything here, and you don't want to put the unit itself in the dishwasher, but they can go on the top rack and it's safe to wash that way. We just went through three different tests with this machine and uh, the four in one of course would be the beaker here. I uh, use that for, for different reasons, but uh, I will say the hand mixer worked every bit as good as my Cuisinart hand mixer. However, I'm gonna give this the leg up on top of the Cuisinart because it has two speeds and the power far surpasses the Cuisinart that I have here. And the Cuisinart would never suck, have create so much suction that it would be able to lift up the whole container. So number one, we have head-to-head -head victory against the Cuisinart. On a cost basis alone, this whole package sells for $39.99, and I think I paid similar just for the hand mixer itself, and since this outperforms that, generally speaking, uh, it's worth just buying for the hand mixer. But then you have the chopper. I have a cheap little chopper that I paid like $15 for that doesn't perform anything like this. Is it gonna replace your, your giant uh, food processor? No, but it's going to do most of the jobs here. You're not going to be able to shred lettuce or cheese in this thing, but you'll be able to chop it up. So this uh, would replace a lot of different things, and perhaps if you don't do a lot of shredding or different things in a food processor, this could take the place of it. And, uh, you know, this would be a high-end food chopper. So, you know, I would say I would pay 30 bucks for this feature alone. So we're up to around $70, $80 so far. 
And then uh, a decent hand mixer would cost you, I don't know, 20 to 30, 40 dollars. And uh, I know you don't get two beaters, and I'm not sure how this would chew through cake batter, but uh, the whisk itself is worth something there. So overall, you know, the deal dork likes to talk value, and you get a lot of value here. And the motor is so powerful in this thing, just like it was in the mixer slash blender uh, machine that we reviewed before. So I'm getting the vibe that Litchi is known for power, versatility, and giving you a lot of value here. So guys, this is a product that I'm going to recommend to you. I put it through the test, some pretty basic things that you would use it for in the kitchen. I'm going to keep uh, testing it. I'm going to get the deal daughter to mix up a batch of cookies or a cake or something with it. And uh, we'll report back in the comments below. But please do subscribe to the channel by clicking the down arrow and hitting subscribe. Also appreciate the likes. Or if you didn't like it, give me a down like uh, and comment and tell me why you liked it or didn't. So, guys, tune in next time. I appreciate you watching. And I'm the Deal Dork signing off. We'll catch you next time.